Well, folks, welcome back. It's a beautiful day out here in central Ontario, Canada. As you guys can see, we're finally out from under that winter blanket and we're in 21 degrees Celsius temperatures today. 21 will not last because at night it still gets below zero. But for today, I'm out here enjoying it because for the last five, maybe six months, we've had snow on the ground. If you sort of look around, we're not quite out from, uh, well, we're not quite out from under it. You can see some piles left over and if you look under all these off cut slabs I got to cut up you'll see all the snow still under there but for today 21 degrees is still a beautiful thing. I'm out here at the sawmill shack taking care of a job that you guys have mentioned to me many many times over many of my recent videos. What that is is dealing with my boardwalk here. If we look down here I'm just about to uh, well just about to manipulate this cut it up do a few things with it today because many of you have mentioned that for me walking from the sawmill shack over to the lumber shack here it's a bit of a trip hazard because I have to step up onto and then off of the boardwalk. We're going to take care of that once and for all today. I am finally going to make it flush with the deck levels. You guys have probably been saying to yourself, why has he not done it up until this point? Well, everything's been under snow. You guys probably would have seen, if you've seen my most recent videos, or I guess maybe videos from a month ago or so, you would have seen the snow practically up to here. And if we look down here, we're, we're not out from under it yet. You can see the ground still frozen and the water's not going into it, but at least the snow's not up to here. So now I can tackle this. I can actually, with the warmer weather, uh, glue a piece of wood on here to provide support for that boardwalk. Same thing over here. You guys can see we're not out from under the snow quite yet. It's still on the ground, sort of under all this sawdust here in places. Maybe not there, but you guys can see it over there. But regardless, we have enough exposure now where we can tackle putting a piece of wood on here for the for the boardwalk to sit on. That's exactly what we're going to get up against today. And just looking around here, after we're done that, I certainly got some cleanup to do. That is definitely the reality of spring around here. Usually if you don't get your chores done before the snow flies, well, you wait five or six months and then you find it again. You guys can see I got all this stuff to clean up and... Well, there's still lots of snow under it, so much, is this, much of this is probably still froze to the ground. And you can see over there, I had some lumber piled up, and well, that disappeared for a few months, and now it's popping its head back out. I'll get that cleaned up, and well, if we look over there, the good thing is, I got some logs ready to go. See those logs over there? We're ready to cut some more lumber. So after the boardwalk, and after the cleanup, and probably after a little bit of shuffling, and all that sort of stuff, we'll get those logs cut, we'll make some more lumber, and and our pile will keep growing. Glad you guys are all here. Let's get down to it. All right, guys. Well, first things first, let me just show you what I got up to before we uh, came out here today. I had a piece of four by four and I took it back to my shop and I cut a groove in it with my table saw. And you guys can see that there. All right, the reason I put this groove here is because I want this piece to sit up against this particular structure so that the boardwalk sits on top of it without the boardwalk having to be secured to it. Why do I not want to attach the boardwalk to this structure and the one behind me? Is because I have to remove that boardwalk from time to time to get in here, clean out the sawdust, clean out the snow in the winter, and so the boardwalk should be removable. Hence why I did this. This groove allows this piece to sit underneath just like this. If I remove this, you guys will notice that this outside rim board is actually on a different plane than the beam underneath. Putting this groove in there allows this face to sit tightly against the beam and allows this groove to sit right here against the rim board. I'll go ahead and put some construction adhesive on here as well as in the groove. It will get positioned just like so. Put some screws in there to hold it into place while the adhesive dries and then the boardwalk will simply be sitting on this lip and able to be removed whenever I need it to. Anyways, that's the thinking. Let's put it into action.
get up there. Little tip for you guys, and I do know better, but obviously I don't uh, follow my own uh, best thinking all the time. If you guys take the tube out of your caulking gun uh, when you're done with it for the day, you won't get into this problem. I've had this in here so long, I think there's a little bit of buildup either at one end or another, and it's sort of keeping it in there. Anyways, we'll get her out of there. Ah. Ah, there we go. One way or another. Okay. You guys probably know this already as well if you have this caulking gun, but uh, that right there will cut the, cut the end and then this will put the hole in the end like so. You guys still with me? That's what happens when you put the adhesive on the wrong side. Hey, I'm not perfect. Okay, let's, uh, let's scrape some of that off. Good enough for this guy. And put it on the right way. What's wild is, I even thought about it when I was, when I was cutting this, and I wrote against shelf, or against shelter, right on the side. That was to go up there, and well, I guess I gotta read it in order to follow it. I didn't do that. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, right like that and like that. You guys can see why I put the screws in first, right? And all I'm doing here is putting the screws in to hold it until the until the adhesive dries. The adhesive's where all the strength is. All right, well, just like the last one, I have taken a, I think this is probably about a three by four. I basically took a piece of wood that I had lying around and I ripped it on the table saw so that it's got a groove in it. You guys see that groove there? This groove, just like the groove on the other side, allows this piece to sit up nice and flush here. You guys notice it'll sit right about there. The reason I had to do that groove is because this top rim board is slightly out compared to the underlying beam. If I didn't do that, it would end up being like, just kind of wobbly like that. I also had to position this so that when I get it in a, in a position, the distance from here to the top of there is the exact same as the depth on the boardwalk. If I'm doing this, I want to do it right. And so I want the top of the boardwalk to be flush with the top of the deck here and the top of the deck over there. I'm going to stop talking, get some screws in here, put some adhesive on the right side this time, and then we'll get her into position and we'll call her good. My drill bit's getting dull here. We'll make her work.
Try not to fall into the water here. I don't think my my work boots are waterproof anymore, that's for sure. Practically see my toes out of them. Alright guys, well there we go. That's in position and as I mentioned uh, the adhesive is where all the strength is and so I'm not going to put the uh, I'm not going to put the full weight of that boardwalk on here and walk on it yet. I'll definitely put it up here just to uh, get a cut to length in that but not going to walk on it yet today. So here we go next step. I'm just putting a little bit of dry sawdust on the top here, on the top of this piece I put on because you guys saw me put the adhesive on the wrong side. I don't want any residual adhesive to basically secure that to it inadvertently. So just putting this across the top, I've scraped off as much as I can and at the very least provides a little barrier. All right, and keep in mind, this looks like this because the other end isn't squared up yet. It's not how it's going to be. So that's what I'm doing. The deck board just overhang or overhung rather the uh, rim board just a little bit and I want this to be nice and flush. So so I do a little bit of trim in there. Don't know if I'm ready to uh, get rid of the miter saw, circular saw and the, uh, the table saw but I think the chainsaw will do for, do for now. And uh, there's a little bit of debris in there still. All right and you guys can see now it butts up a little bit tighter and well I think that's the name of the game. Now to the other side. Thank you. 
All right, guys. Well, besides a little bit of a cleanup job, I think we did everything we needed to here today to get this boardwalk project off my list. You guys have mentioned in previous videos how the trip hazard was here because there was a step on this side and a step on that side to get onto the boardwalk, and I've now eliminated it. Now, it took me quite a while to get that eliminated, not because I'm stubborn, not because I wanted to test my luck, but because I was waiting for the snow to go away and I was waiting for the ice and, well, all the ground to thaw out just a little bit so I could get in here and work. Now that I've got this project done, it's definitely gonna be a smoother transition from the sawmill shack with lumber over to the lumber shack. If we have a look at what we got up to, we got these pieces installed. I'm not gonna step onto the boardwalk though because the adhesive has to dry. And likewise, I did the exact same thing over here. You guys can see the piece I installed and the boardwalk sits on top of it. And you're gonna notice that I took some of the weight off the boardwalk so that it's not full weight on this while it dries. I took the weight off with these blocks here. I also went ahead and fixed the part that cracked, put the plywood on both sides, construction adhesive, and that should be good to go. I think overall, this is gonna be very functional. If this stands up to the test of time, maybe I'll build a better version down the road. 2x4 construction, I know it's not the strongest, but heck, that's what I had on hand. Anyways, guys, if you want to see more sawn, come on back next time. I am sure to be out here making some dust with that lumber. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Take care, be well, and I'll see you next time.